Hi, this is Shalana from Dancer's Physique, and today we're going to cover what you can do for exercises while experiencing an injury. So I recently fractured my big toe and was in this immobilizer for six weeks. So I had to find a way to still work out while experiencing this injury. Now it's important that you consult your doctor before you start any new exercise routine. Now with an injury, it's important that you consider rice. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation. So these three exercises that I selected were keeping my foot elevated at all times. So I have three exercises, upper, lower, and a core exercise. So the first for upper body was a chest press, keeping my feet elevated above my heart, controlling the movement, nice slow and controlled movement with the weight that you feel comfortable, putting absolutely no pressure on that injured foot. It's also important that you're still engaging muscles so that you don't have a lot of muscle atrophy. So with this, I do recommend high repetitions. All right, so the next exercise is gonna be a core exercise. <clears throat> so here again, my feet are still elevated. Putting the weight above my head, this will be for my core. I'm gonna pull it all the way up and then control it all the way down. You could also bring it overhead, up, reach. Overhead, reach. Good. And the last exercise is going to be a bridge with my heels up. <clears throat> you could use a weight or you can do body weight. I hope this gave you a few ideas of exercises that you can do if you ever experience an injury. Remember, it's important to consult a doctor before starting any new exercise routine. And think of just being creative. What can you still do without impacting that injury? Thank you for watching Diet.com and please subscribe for more.